Hello and welcome to this video looking at the next part of the developmental psychology topic for the AQA GCSE psychology course. Previous videos had looked at the overview of PRJ's theory um, and what um, conservation tasks are. This video focuses on egocentrism. So egocentrism or egocentricity is a term that Piaget used to explain how children only generally see the world from their own point of view. So anyone that spent any time and they got younger brothers or sisters or cousins um, will know that young children tend to be quite self-involved, quite selfish, can only see things from their own point of view, their own perspective. Um, and this is what Piaget was trying to capture when he was explaining uh, the theory of egocentricity. PRJ tested this and he tested this using something called the Three Mountains experiment and this became again quite a famous um, experiment in psychology. They gave a model of Three Mountains, I'll explain this in a second, um, to children under seven and children over seven and what they found was the children under seven uh, performed quite poorly in the Three Mountains task and so this showed egocentrism, this showed that they could only see things from their own point of view whereas children over seven Tended to do a lot better on that, and so could understand things from other uh, understand things from other people's point of view. Could put themselves in other people's shoes. A key part of growing up um, and understanding the world is being able to to view things from other people's perspectives. Um, and when children are able to do that, that we we, we develop Piaget's theory was that we develop, and uh, and over the age of seven we get better at that. Um, he called this decentering. So we've we become less about ourselves. So the term ego, uh, Latin uh, word meaning I. So it literally means, um, yeah, self-centered I, all looking at, uh, at myself. So egocentrism, I-centered, so that they're, they're focused around them, themselves. Um, but after seven, they decenter, see the world from other people's points of view. So yes, a study that you need to uh, know about is the um, Three Mountains experiment. And the Three Mountains experiment was a task to, to test this egocentrism, to test children and see whether they can see things from other people's point of view. And as the title would suggest, there were three mountains. Uh, one had kind of snow on the top, the other had a cross like the one in the picture there, and the other had a house on the top. Um, and from different viewpoints, you would be able to see the top of some of the mountains and not others. So the child was sat one side of the mountains um, and they had a doll that they put the other side. Um, and the child was asked, what could you see? To, to double check that they could um, see what they're seeing. And invariably they got that right. And then the researcher placed the doll at various places around this um, scenario of, of, of these three mountains. Um, and sometimes the doll would be able to see the top of the mountain, say, with the snow on or the house on, but others they wouldn't. And so the, the researcher would ask, OK, well, what can the doll see? Um, and what they found was that children younger than seven would always just say, oh, the doll would see the cross because that's the thing that maybe that they're looking at. Um, and so they're just seeing things from, from their points of view, whereas um, as the children got older, um, they could then start generally they could then start explaining oh actually the doll can see um it can't see the cross this time because it's it's sat at a different place um and so this for prj supported the idea that the children are quite ego-centered they're, they're focused on themselves they're focused on their own perspectives and they have to develop and, and that stage theory of development um to become less uh, ego-centered so decentered as, as he described it um, and see the world from other people's points of view so it gives you a bit more insight into Piaget's thinking and Piaget's theories. Much like when we were looking at um, conservation tasks this has then been researched further later down the line and parts of it challenged so uh, a researcher called Hughes, Hughes did a study looking at policeman dolls uh, and actually Hughes's study was uh, much like the conservation task study it was looking to um, say okay well actually can we test Piaget's theory how accurate was it was everything as as was seen before or um, are there differences are there variations can we update the theory and that's what Hughes was going to test so this study Hughes's study is one that's named on the specification so you need to know what the aim of the study is what method they used, the results they found and the conclusions they drew from it so in Hughes's policeman doll study quite similar they were testing egocentrism but this time instead of using mountains and a doll um, they used 
uh, kind of walls. So you had two walls crossed, so you kind of had four sections. And they had a policeman doll um, and the, the doll of a boy as well. Um, and so what they were aiming to do is see if a task that made more social sense to children had more of an impact. So, you know, the idea of a, a snow covered mountain with a house and a cross, that's a bit abstract. Children might not have come across that before. Uh, so Hughes was thinking, well, maybe some of Piaget's results were down to what they did. So if we use policemen and walls and, and look at maybe um, a doll hiding from a policeman, that's more normal to what children might have looked at in play, might have seen in, in some of the... Um, I don't know, books that they've read or, or, or things that they might have seen. Um, so that was the aim to test whether a task that made more social sense to children had an impact on their egocentrism. How did they do that? Well, 30 children from Edinburgh um, between three and a half and five years old, um, and they were given that task that I said. So you have these two walls. A uh, child asked it whether the policeman could see the boy doll, and so the, the, the game, the task was to try to, to get the boy to hide from the policeman so the policeman couldn't see it. So the policeman couldn't see through walls, um, but if the if the boy was one side of the wall or the other, one side of the wall or the other, they, they could see it. So the boy and the policeman dolls were moved to try to help the child to understand what the policeman could or could not see when children kind of made errors that that was pointed out by the researcher. And then the, the, the research task, the key task was when the child was given the doll and asked to hide the doll from the two policemen. So to do that, what they'd have had to do is make sure that the policeman couldn't see the boy uh, past the walls. So that was the aim, that was the method. Find. So they found that 90% of the children were able to do this task. They were able to position the boy doll where the policeman dolls couldn't see him. Um, and actually, they then uh, graduated it and did some more tasks as well and added more walls, made it more, more complex. So there was scenarios where there were five different walls rather than four, another one where there were six different walls. And what they found was there's still quite a high success rate. So um, of the three-year-olds, of the younger children in the study, um, they got that, uh, about 60% correct. And of the older children, so the four-year-olds, about 90% correct. Um, so what does this show us? What, what can we conclude from this? Well, this actually suggests that maybe Piaget's um, results weren't quite what um, he would have said, maybe children are better at um, decentering that, uh, and, and not as ego-centered as Piaget may have suggested. And Piaget's results may have been a factor of the, the methodology that, that he used. So that's maybe a criticism of Piaget's theory. The other side of the coin, so much like um, last time, actually there is some support for Piaget's theory as well here. So um, actually what they did find is these age differences. So the younger children were um, poorer at egocentrism and the older children were better. So that actually supports Piaget's idea that, that we um, develop our cognitive thinking, we develop our um, understanding of the world more and it gets more complex and our schemas are built uh, as we get older. Um, and in this scenario, it did suggest that younger children are more ego-centered um, and older children less so. So um, while there is criticism here, there, there's also some support for Piaget's theory as well. OK, much like um, lots of things in the GCSE psychology course, we then need to evaluate that and say whether Hughes's policeman doll st study had uh, strengths and weaknesses uh, and what those were. So strength. Well, um, this was a good study. There was a reason for doing this study um, and it was definitely worth assessing whether uh, Piaget's results were accurate or not. So the task was certainly more relatable to the children. Hopefully you can see that. It's something the children would have uh, naturally done in play anyway. So being asked to see which mountains um, they think a doll can look at with a cross and a, a house and snow caps, that's quite unfamiliar to children, unsurprising that they would be poor in that task. So at least in Hughes' study, it's more familiar. Children probably experience, they play hide and seek, they experience playing with uh, dolls and looking at walls and hiding. So um, actually, what Hughes was saying is that children just didn't understand what they're being asked to do in PRJ study when they were taught that a bit better, their results got better. And so what this suggests is that the real abilities of children um, were probably more likely to be being assessed in Hughes' study. So therefore, this is, may well be a more valid um, experiment than... The issue there, here um, is that actually the... Um, 
The researchers then, they were obviously going out to, te to, to test Piaget's study to try to prove it wrong. Um, and they thought that the, the children would be better at the policeman doll study anyway. So it could have been the case, maybe, uh, that the researchers gave hints to the correct answer. So they may have given subtle hints, um, they may have looked in the right direction, they may have, uh, it might have been more deliberate, they may have been um, kind of almost nudging the children to, to where the, the correct answer should be. Um, and that's very hard to test. So it, it suggests that actually, okay, maybe more valid uh, than Piaget's, but they, they may still be um, a lack of some validity in this study um, because um, she biased researching. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, please take the notes and we'll go on. There's a couple more videos looking at Piaget's theory, um, looking at the stages and also the application to education. Thank you.